Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the throttle on our Razer MX500 Dirt Rocket. This is a fairly easy procedure. It should take approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver. A standard screwdriver. A 3mm Allen wrench. A 4mm Allen wrench. A 5mm Allen wrench. A pair of pliers. A pair of scissors. A couple zip ties. A 10mm open end wrench. And a bottle of soapy water. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, removing the fairings. Step two, removing the throttle. Step three, installing your new throttle. And step four, reinstalling the fairings. Now as with working on any electric product, make sure you turn off the power before you begin. Now let's get started on step one, removing our fairings. Let's start by removing the seat fairing. To do this, there are six bolts that need to be removed. Two inside the fairing, two on the front corners, and two under the tail. We'll start by removing the two inside the fairings with our five millimeter Allen wrench and our 10 millimeter open end wrench. Put your open end wrench on the nut and put the Allen wrench into the bolt and loosen. Now move on to the other side. Next, we'll remove the two on the front corners with the same 5mm Allen wrench. These two don't require an open end wrench. And the other side. And finally, the two under the tail. You'll be using the same 5mm Allen wrench and your 10mm open end wrench as these have a nut on the back. And now the other one. Now that all the bolts are removed, slide the seat straight back and lift up and set it aside. Now we can remove the gas tank. To do this, there are two bolts that need to be removed. One in the front, one in the back. Take your three millimeter Allen wrench and remove those bolts. With the bolts removed, we can take the gas tank off and save it for later. Next, let's remove the battery box. To do this, we need to remove six bolts, two on the top, two on the front, and two on the bottom. We'll start on the top with our four millimeter Allen wrench and remove those bolts. And the other top one. For the remaining four, we'll be using our Phillips screwdriver. The back side of the bolt has nuts that may fall out when removing the bolts. If it does, make sure not to lose them as we'll need them later. And don't forget about the bottom two. Once all six bolts are removed, you can remove the right side of the box by sliding straight out. And put it aside. Now we can remove the left side of the box by sliding it straight out. And you'll notice there are wires holding it to the bike. We have to disconnect the plugs here, here, and here. To disconnect these plugs, pinch the connector and pull straight apart. Do the same for the other two. Now that the plugs are disconnected, take the cover and save it for later. And that concludes step one, removing our fairings. Now on to step two, removing our throttle. For this step, we have to unplug the throttle, cut a couple zip ties, slide the brake back, slide the throttle back, remove the grip, and then remove the throttle. We'll start by disconnecting the throttle cable. Find the connector with six wires on each side, pinch on the connector, and separate. Next, take your scissors and cut the two zip ties on top of the frame. Carefully. Now using your five millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the bolt on the top of the brake.
and then slide the brake out of the way. With your 3mm Allen wrench, loosen the bolt on the bottom of the throttle, and then slide your throttle back against the brake. Removing the grip can be difficult, but a good trick is to take your standard screwdriver, pry it underneath the grip, pry upward, and using your soapy water, spray some in there. And twist the grip until it comes off. Next, we're gonna remove the throttle. Take your throttle cable, feed it back through the number plate, and slide the throttle off the bars. But be careful, as there's a spacer inside the throttle you don't wanna lose. And that concludes step two, removing your throttle. And now on to step three, installing our new throttle. Slide the throttle on the bars, followed by the spacer. Feed the throttle cable through the number plate. And plug the throttle cable in. Connect it till it clicks. Now we're gonna zip tie the cables to the frame to keep them out of the way. Take all the cables coming through the number plate. Using your zip tie, zip tie them to the frame. Using your other zip tie, we're gonna do the same thing, but a little lower. And with your scissors, Cut off the excess, carefully. Now we can reinstall the grip. Take your grip, spray some soapy water in there to make the process easier, and slide the grip on the handlebars. Now slide your throttle against the grip. Take your three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten the bolt on the bottom of the throttle. Once that's nice and tight, slide the brake against the throttle and tighten it with your 5mm Allen wrench. And that concludes step 3, installing your new throttle. Now onto step 4, reinstalling your fairings. We'll start with the left side of the battery box. First, we'll plug in the three connectors coming from the battery box. Two go to the power switch. One and two, and the third goes to the charging port. And put the cover on, lining up the holes. Now take the right side of the battery cover and place that on too. Align the two sides to each other, and then you can bolt them together. You probably dropped a few of the nuts while removing it, so now's a good time to put them back in. With your four millimeter Allen wrench, tighten the top two. Now move on to the front. And remember, the remaining four are Phillips heads. Slide the bolt through the hole and through the frame. And then tighten it. Now move on to the bottom two. And now we can install the gas tank. Set it on top of the frame, line up the two holes, and put the bolts in, one in the front, one in the back. And using your three millimeter Allen wrench, tighten them down. And finally, we can install the seat fairing. Set it on the bike and slide it into place. Take your 5mm Allen wrench and your bolt and secure the fairing. I like to start with the front left corner and then the one on the opposite side. Now the remaining four require your 5mm Allen wrench along with a 10mm open end. 
I like to start on the inside ones. The open end wrench secures the nut from the bottom, while the allen wrench tightens from the top. And do the same with the other side. Once those are tight, we can move to installing the two bolts under the tail. With the two bolts under the tail secure, that concludes step four, reinstalling our fairings. Now hit that power switch and make sure it works. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, but if you are still having any troubles or complications, please feel free to visit the customer support section on Razor.com. Ciao, ciao, brown cow.